What's going on everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So I got a video for you today. Um, today is going to be on kind of something I hadn't really touched base on and I've actually had a lot of questions about this and I really don't know why I hadn't already made a video about this before. So today I'm going to do this little video based on Genesis bows and uh, kind of like the NAS program and stuff like that. So some of y'all have asked me, hey, what's a, what's a good bow to start my kids out on without, uh, without dumping a bunch of money in? So these Genesis bows are some really awesome bows. So if you wanna know a little bit of information about them, y'all stick around, that's what we're about to get into. So as I said, we're going to get into a little bit of the, about these Genesis bows. Um, before I get into it, how you folks doing? I hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all having a good week. Hope everything's going good for you. Um, if not, keep your chin up. It's going to be all right. We're going to get through it. So anyhow, before we get into this video too far, y'all be sure and, and uh, hit a like, thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already done it. Let's get into it. So, the Genesis bows. I have had um, several folks ask me over the years, uh, what's, a, what's a good bow to kind of teach my kid to shoot without having to spend a whole lot of money on them? And, like I said, I've never really got into these. Usually, whenever I think about uh, a bow to uh, tell a kid to start out on, I automatically gravitate towards some type of compound bow because that's kind of the go-to thing nowadays. But with the uh, 4-H archery that I teach, that uh, I'm one of the coaches for, uh, the NAS program that's going in the schools, which is a very, very good program. Uh, what we use in it as far as like intro is using the Genesis bows. Y'all, please excuse all the uh, raindrops hitting the uh, <laughs> hitting the roof out here gotta try to get y'all another video so we have been or i've been a 4-h archery coach me and my wife for the past five years um and usually when we have a new kid come in and the parents ask us hey what can we do as far as a parent what can we do as far as equipment on having our kid learn how to shoot a bow and as long as they aren't dead set on, you know, I want them to get a compound so they can go deer hunt and kill deer or whatever, uh, these Genesis bows are really a good learn how to shoot bow, okay? It's, I, I try to compare it to, like, learning how to drive, learning how to drive a car on a standard. So if you learn how to drive with a standard, you can drive anything. So if you can learn how to shoot on one of these Genesis bows to begin with, you can pretty much shoot anything you want because these Genesis bows, they teach, you can teach your core form, you can teach stance, you can teach repeatability, consistency, and stuff like that, and not have to worry about, is my peep sight lined up, do I uh, use the right pin, blah, 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 all that. Um, and and they're, just, they're just a lot of fun to shoot. So I just got one in uh, for a friend of mine, his, uh, his granddaughter actually, we're going to take this one out the box. I'm going to show you some of the uh, the errors, some of the different equipment to go along with it. So, yeah, here we go. So, this is the standard size Genesis bow. They make a standard, which is this size, and they make a mini that will fit a little small kid. Um, let, me, let me get something we can, uh, we can kind of cut this off with. Let me just say... We need to cut these. Whoa. We need to cut all these uh, zip ties off of here. So, I'm going to say it was Matthews and Mission kind of teamed up and come up with this Genesis bow. It is a one size fits all bow. Uh, it don't matter if you draw lengths really short, a little bit longer. Uh, this bow will accommodate any size person uh, of course this is a left-handed bow 
Um, they they only go up to, I'm going to say, it's like 20 pounds. You can back them all the way off to about 10. You can back these things off to where you can just about hold them, and it'll, uh, it'll draw itself back. So you don't have to be super strong to shoot these things. Like I said, it teaches core form. Um, it's going to adjust like any compound bow. You have your limb bolts right here. And I'm wanting to say you can do, front, if you're bottomed out, you can back it out. It's like five turns, I want to say. I'm looking at, trying to look here, see if it says anything. Uh, no. But there, there's a certain amount that you can back out on these to get them dropped down really, really low where any kid will be able to do it. As far as stats on bows, 35-inch axle axle bows, uh, 7 and 5-inch brace height. Uh draw weights is adjustable from 10 to 20 pounds like i said up to a 30 inch draw length so you can take a little bit of kids shoot this thing all the way up to an adult almost an adult you know you can get out 30 inches okay i mean i don't even shoot 30 inches i shoot 29 um like i said they're really simple the these are set up like i said to teach form repeatability and stuff like that you shoot this as a bare bow uh the nas program you don't have any sights. You don't have any uh, marks on your riser to use as a reference or anything. That's kind of the same thing with our uh, 4-H archery that, that we coach. Uh, these these bows do have the uh, threaded holes where you can mount a sight on it. Uh, you can mount a different style rest on here. Um, but just coming the way that they come out of the box, it's got this little flapper style rest. It's got this little uh, little plastic sleeve right here. Um, with the 4H, I usually change this out to uh, to like a brass knock set. But I'm wanting to say with NAS program, you either have to keep this uh, this little plastic knock set on here or a tie knock set on. You can't do brass knock sets. So as far as the bow, they're straight up. They're simple. Um, it looks a lot like a compound bow you got this fairly aggressive cam on the bottom a little wheel on top but when you draw this thing back it doesn't have like a breakover like a compound bow um it's just it's going to be the same way kind of like kinda, pulls kind of like a recurve uh same weight all the way back no breakover on it uh, like i said they're really simple there, there's not a lot to confuse a new shooter with this uh, like I say, it is just about teaching your form and shootability with this. So, this is a bow. Like I said, of course, this one is a left-handed. Um, brings more off this label here. Uh, it's a compound bow designed with 0% let off, as I said. Uh, accurate, durable, fun for a lifetime. So, we have had several kids shoot these for several years and do really really good at it you can you can do a lot of stuff with these little things um i'm going to show you some more stuff that we got to go along with this bow now this little box right here like i said y'all excuse the rain right there if it gets much louder than that we're going to pause it all right so with these bows, especially in the NAS program, you are only allowed to shoot like the NAS approved arrows, which are going to be the Easton uh, XX75s uh, Genesis arrows. They are 1820s. These are the arrows right here. I ordered a dozen for this one. I'm going to pull one of them out here. So they come, if you order one, uh, if you order them already, you know, made, they'll come with your uh, fletchings and knocks. I already got the little tip glued in. You can order different color shafts. Uh, if you order them fletched up, you don't know necessarily what color fletchings are going to be when they come in. Um, the NAS program does require you to uh, have the NAS approved fletchings, and uh, th there's there's a lot of rules into it. So if you need to uh if you want to know some more information about the nash program definitely look them up google them look them up online but this is the errors we got to go with it uh, i got a nice uh avalon case to go along with it this little sight or 
side quiver, not the case. The little side quiver to go along with it, little uh, three air side quiver. This is the uh, Easton uh, Genesis bow case. You can buy a, uh, a soft case that is designed to accept these bows and airs and everything. These are some uh, really nice cases as far as the soft case. Open it up. Like I said, I, this little girl that uh, wants this one likes blue, so we tried to fix her up everything blue that I could get. It's got your little uh, mesh pocket on the outside where you can put a few odds and ends, and then you just unzip this bad boy and put your bow and your ears and everything on the inside. Just a nice, simple case. Let's see what else we got in here. We got her some, uh, some fingers. I definitely suggest getting some some type of finger guard um, is a requirement as far as safety uh, safety requirements. Have to have some type of finger guard and some type of arm guard as well. Uh, I've been going with these uh, these neat shooting gloves, or um, there's another one that I've been getting that does really good for the kids. I'm wanting to say this is a bear paw. This is a, a leather. Uh, leather shoot three finger shooting glove this works really good as well and then uh, as far as uh, arm guards I've been getting these uh, Avalon stretchy sleeve arm guards these things are pretty sweet um, like with my kids I try to keep it as simple as I possibly can and just to have a pull on sleeve style arm guard works really really good so this is just a little kind of like made out of like neoprene it's got your little uh, protector right there especially if they have a long sleeve shirt on you can just grab your shirt sleeve I'm not gonna pull it all the way on because I almost stretch it all the way out but it just slides on you get the idea that you can slide that up right here on your forearms requirement to have a uh, arm guard of some sort um, I'm gonna say that is all the equipment that you need. So, the uh, setup on these Genesis bows, there's really nothing to it. You have the little flapper rest here. You're going to set your knock point, whatever. Uh, let always set mine level, maybe just a little knock high on level. Uh, can't really tune these things because you... Uh, However, you're going to release with your finger is going to dictate a lot on how that air travels. Um, other than that, I guess that's really about all I have to say about these. These are, uh, like I said, kind of one of the best things to learn how to shoot on. And it's usually pretty easy to find somebody else that is looking for one of these whenever you're done shooting one of them and want to move up or something like that go to a little different bow there's always somebody looking for a little genesis bow so um yeah i guess that's about it i really didn't have a whole lot to say about this but i did want to introduce what these were and uh you know kind of a little bit of information about them mm, i guess that's it so uh y'all got any questions Y'all hit me up in them comments down there. Uh, shoot me a text message, whatever. Look me up on SwampDonkeyArchery.com. It's got all my contact information on it. Find me on all my social media platforms, SwampDonkeyArchery.com, or SwampDonkeyArchery on Facebook, and SwampDonkeyArchery on Instagram. Uh, other than that, guess y'all have a good one. Try to stay dry, try to stay warm. Catch y'all on the next one.